What's up everyone and welcome to Ola Test. Today I'm trying out the Northern Mahler from Rev. Now my good uh, YouTube colleague and friend Glenn Fricker teamed up with Rev to collaborate on this distortion pedal right here. Rev are known for their incredible amplifiers, but also for their incredible distortion pedals. You know, they have the, the purple G series, they have the red one, basically taking out the distortions from their amplifiers, putting them in a pedal, and they sound cake ass basically. Now that they've teamed up with Glenn Fricker, they're going a little bit outside the box. Maybe, I don't know, is it outside the box? Maybe it's inside the box, I have no idea. Anyways, it's a little bit different from Rev at least. But what you have right here and why it's called the Northern Mahler is probably because they're playing on, you know, the Swedish chainsaw sound. You know, the legendary Boss HM2 sound that made a lot of Swedish death metal bands sound like Chainsaw. <laughs> now, what makes this different from a Boss HM2, you might ask? Well, first of all, you can see there's a lot more knobs on it. You know, uh, the, the Boss HM2 has, has four knobs on it. The thing about the Boss HM2, which a lot of people are saying is not a versatile Pell, uh, even though it is, it's just that a lot of people are just used to diming all the settings and, you know, chainsaw it out. That type of dimed sound right there isn't really original anymore. It's that sound. And, you know, every death metal chainsaw album that you hear that sound on, it gets a little stale at some point. So what Rev and Glenn Fricker have done here is that they mixed a G-series pedal, one of the Rev G-series pedals, I'm not sure which one, and a Boss HM2 chainsaw circuit. Mix them together so you can blend them, okay? For this demo, I'm using a Marshall JCM 800. The pedal's going straight into the input of the amplifier. This is a 50 watt. That goes into my Marshall Oversize. This is a Neumann TLM 102 microphone. This is the clean tone. That's not really clean, it's a little gritty. Let's engage the Northern Mahler. I have everything set to noon right now, so. From my understanding how this works is that the input of the guitar goes in this input and then you have this circuitry right here which contains bass, mids and treble and giver, giver is gain basically. So... So what we're listening to right now with the blend knob completely at this side which means that we're only listening to this part it's basically a g series pedal i would probably assume it's the red one that's a little bit more laid back not as tight as the purple one for instance <laughs> So already at this point, you have a pretty sick sounding distortion pal, so... Okay. Pretty tight. So this circuit right here also feeds this part right here. So we're gonna blend in this other part that has a bite and a growl to it. So let's go. So now that we have the blend on this side, the bite and growl works together with the overall gain. So you hear that growl, right? All right, so let's blend these. I'm dialing this up to 12 o'clock.
So you can go from this completely super tight plastic distortion and add that little chainsaw growl to it. So you can blend the two. So instead of having, you know, the complete chainsaw package, you can blend them in into a classic distortion sound. So making it sound a little bit less unoriginal. Okay, but there's actually two ways of going for the absolute chainsaw sound. One is going, you know, with a chainsaw type pedal into a clean channel of an amplifier, like I've done right here. But then there's also the incredibly sick, absolutely insanely overloaded type of chainsaw sound. And that is when you go with a chainsaw circuit into a distorted amplifier. Holy shit. There it is. Actually, legit good uh, lead tone. Listen to that. hell did you see that did it went into the cut it went into my coffee cup up in the roof down in my coffee cup that's the first god damn it no one saw that so there you go that's the northern mauler for you right there i think there's some sort of competitor pedal uh, the grindstein uh, i haven't tried the physical pedal i've tried the plug-in but it works about the same way a little bit if you enjoy the rev g series type of distortion which i think a lot of people do but also want to just you know crank it up with a little bit of chainsaw just put a slight bit of sweden in there i think it works pretty good must say if you enjoyed this video maybe consider subscribing to my channel put a thumbs up or something and i'll see you next time goodbye